What's going on, Postcard Pros? Today, we're talking about Spriggs Postcard. I'm not even sure that Spriggs around anymore, but it's still gonna be useful to dive into their postcard. Let's take a look. First off, same sin as Nimble RX here, which is a previous video we did. Spriggs logo is huge. No one cares. People care about the problem that you're solving for them. Eat well? Hmm. So is it a restaurant? Uh, are we talking about a lettuce delivery service? I see a big file of lettuce. Is, is it uh, telling me what I shouldn't be eating? Is, is it, you know, what does it do? I think that the smallest thing here is probably the best piece, right? Fresh meals using wholesome ingredients delivered in 15 minutes. That's all you need to say. It perfectly describes what you do and the pain that you solve, right? You don't have to walk 20 minutes or 30 minutes to get a good, fresh, healthy meal. Perfect. Your first meal is on us. So I have to say, overall, I like that there's not a lot of stuff on this postcard, but I would make the logo super small. The imagery is is fine, um, but your first meal is on us. Use this code. Here's where you register. You need to give people the next step. How is it on you? How do I take advantage of this? And why is it the smallest thing here? You're, the problem that you solve, the H1, header one, should be the biggest thing, and then the offer should be the next biggest thing on the postcard, so make that clear. Check out the backside. Delivered faster than you can cook. So are you really competing with people who are cooking, or are you competing with people going out to restaurants? Um, I don't know, but I, I think that if speed, is, is speed really the problem, or that people don't know how to eat healthy? I would say that if speed is the problem, I would say delivered in 15 minutes or less, right? Isn't that what they say on the, what did they say? Yeah, 50, in 15 minutes. So just say that, food delivered in 15 minutes or less or it's free, you know? That's a much better call to action here. So uh, they lo let's let's take a look at the bottom right-hand side. Sprig loves 94114. Okay, like I, I do like that it's at least specific to my zip codes that there's some tracking here and it, I do like that there is an expiration date, but I don't think that the code should be the biggest thing. I think that the offer should be the biggest thing. Get $10 off or get your first free delivery. I think the thing is that it's a little bit unclear is it's 10 bucks off, but how much does it cost? What is a, is that a meal? Is that a 10th of a meal? What, you know, what, what is this delivery service cost me? Uh, in the app, okay. So they want me to download an app but I now have to search for it. What they could have said is text this number and we'll send you a link. Then they've got my contact information, right? That's probably a better way to capture someone's information. They also could have given me a short URL to get to that, to get to the app. A QR code too, pop open your camera and scan this and we'll direct you right to the app. And then they can have a tracking QR code so they know how many people scanned. And it turns out that people do scan postcards if you, you know, if you tell them how to do it because it's built into the camera now. A lot of people don't know that. So first time customers only. I like that there is a small print, but that should be smaller. And I like there's an expiration date. This is clearly from several years ago. Uh, overall, like the, they have all the elements of a good offer, but they're not really organized in the best way. Simple or simplest ordering experience ever. Uh, I don't really have a problem when I'm ordering food, right? Maybe three taps to wholesome meal for spring, that should probably be the the piece here. I mean, I don't know that this is a problem. People are like, oh, it's the ordering, like that's why I don't do it, the ordering experiences. So I might think of a different message here, but I like the icon. I like the fact that it's like a tapping icon. So it's very clear what this, what they're trying to promote here. Fresh daily menu, I like that too. Our lunch and dinner menu changes daily so you can eat spring regularly and still have a culinary adventure. Okay. That's fine. It's short to the point. Uh, you know, they've got a nice icon and, the, you know, the fresh daily menu, perfect. Average delivery time of 15 minutes. Okay, they've talked about this delivery time kind of a lot. So I like that. I like the repetition. I like the icon. Uh, modern smartphone and routing technology. I don't, who cares? I think it's just like you should say, We've delivered 5,628 meals to 94114 with an average delivery time of 14 minutes and 28 seconds, right? Now we're, t now we're cooking with gas, right? Now I'm like, okay, great. I really believe this. Like they've talked about a specific number here and it makes me feel like it's more real. So 
you know, overall, the the thing I'll say is they didn't clutter up the postcard, which is nice. You see that a lot of people put way too much stuff on the postcard. And I like the fact there's a one, two, three. I like that there's an offer, you know, B minus on this postcard. I would say that as long as they reorganized some of the information, changed up some of the benefits and made their logo less than gigantic, uh, it'd be a pretty good postcard to replicate. Congratulations on educating yourself on another postcard design.